Okay, so we're going to start off in Module 2, which is the Getting Started module, with Section 1, where I want to just go over some new features that QuickBooks 2016 has. So let me start with Reports. Now, if I go to Reports and I look at an Inventory Report, for example, I'll just pull up this Inventory Valuation Summary. Now, we've always had the ability to customize reports. And we've had the ability to go to filters and just look through the different fields that are available and specify the criteria. But what's new here is we can now search on the fields that we actually added that were customized. So if you go into the customer center, for example, and you actually create a new field, it'll show up here so you can now search on it. And that's kind of big because uh, we've never had that particular feature before. Now let me cancel out of that. And here's something else that's new in your reports as far as dates. Now, we've always had all these different ways to look at the dates, but this particular option here is new, this fiscal year to last month. So that's kind of neat that we can now use that to search for a date range. Now, let me go ahead and close reports because that's just a couple of quick things of reports. So the other thing I want to mention is the bill tracker. Now, we always had the income tracker, but now if you go to vendors, you're going to see what's called the bill tracker. Now, what the bill tracker shows you is a listing of your open purchase orders, open bills, anything that's overdue, and anything paid in the last 30 days. So let's say that I want to go through here and I want to pay these two wheeler tires and I want to come down here and pay this Perry windows and doors and let's pay this one as well. Now what I can do is down here where it says batch actions I can actually pay those bills and what it does is opens the pay bill screen and all the ones I checked off are now checked off in here so I can go ahead and just pay those. So that's kinda of cool how that works as well. So let me close that and we're not gonna save any of these right now. Now, something else is kind of new is this, purchase orders. Previously, if you wanted to look at your purchase orders that were open, you'd have to run a report. So I'd come up to reports, I click on purchases, and I'd be able to look at open purchase orders. So you can see there's quite a few there. So a lot of times what happens is people have purchase orders from the beginning of time that are open, so there could be thousands of these here. How do you get them off of this list because this was six years ago? So what you can do is back on that bill tracker, you can do this. If I click on the purchase orders here that are open, this is all 12 of them, I can choose all the purchase orders by clicking here. And then what I can do is under batch actions, I can close purchase orders. Now obviously if you didn't want to close them all, you wouldn't check them all, but I'm going to close purchase orders. And what's going to happen is, once I do this, I'm going to go back and run that same report, and you're going to see there's nothing there. So if I come back here to Open Purchase Orders, there's nothing on that report. So that's kind of a biggie, too, because, like I said before, we didn't have a way to kind of close all those purchase orders. So that's just a few of the new things that are in the QuickBooks 2016. Nothing major, but just some little things like that that help make life a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this section and I will see you over in section two. Hi, I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see similar videos, click the subscribe button on the right. I'll see you next week with additional videos.